if there's an indication that um, a cow has some sort of infection in the mammary gland, mastitis, our next step would be possibly to take an, a, a sample of that milk to submit for microbiology to determine maybe what pathogen has caused that infection. To take a sample from a quarter, you're going to need to clean the quarter aggressively in order for no surface pathogens can contaminate our sample. What we like to first use is iodine, and what we do is we completely cover the entire teat of the animals with iodine, especially paying attention to the very teat end, aggressively cleaning the very teat end where there may be an accumulation of organic material that could cause a, po a false positive result or a contamination of our milk sample. So we aggressively clean the teat end and we aggressively clean the entire teat, placing iodine in place for approximately 30 to 40 seconds. We need contact time with iodine, 30 to 40 seconds. That's how long it takes for iodine to kill any sur surface contaminants that we may have uh, that we do not want to end up in our sample vial. After 30 or 40 seconds, then what we will do is actually clean away all of the iodine by using alcohol wipes. Again, we'll take all of the iodine off of its cow's teat, aggressively cleaning the entire teat surface, and then very much paying attention by turning the swab over to the clean side of cleaning the very tip of the teat aggressively. Once the teat is cleaned with both iodine followed by alcohol, we must allow the alcohol to dry. We cannot allow a drop of alcohol to enter our tube because our collection tube with milk, when we may actually kill our bacteria that we need to identify that's causing this infection. So we will use a sample vial, a plastic sample vial, to collect our tube. It's a sterile tube. The lid, we have to be secure, be careful when we open the tube that we do not touch any of the internal parts of the tech cap that could contaminate our vial. And a very, also a very important part of taking this sample is that every time that you go to take the sample and you move the actual teeth or the gland, there's many different types of particles from hair to dust to all kinds of different sort of debris that can actually fall into your sample vial. So you want to be careful to avoid those. The way that we avoid those is we actually allow the lid to be a protector so that stuff will bounce off of it. At the same time, we need to direct the stream of milk into the tube at an angle. So now I'm going to open the lid, leave it half open like this, at an angle to the cow's teeth. I'm going to actually strip milk. The four milk is first stripped away onto the ground, not into the tube. And then once we finish stripping it into the ground, then we actually collect the two into the tube using, again, our lid as a buffer to prevent any sort of material from collecting into the well. Then we fill the tube up with milk, a small sample, at least one quarter of the way up the tube. And then we close the lid and we have our sample vial to turn in for microbiology that should, whatever organism grows, should be the organism that's actually causing infection in the gland, causing mastitis.